What up, what up everyone? My name is William aka Wilster. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery, the everyday documentation of a food courier right now in downtown LA. It's kind of my you know place to come to. It's been like a whole week. I went on a little went on a trip. I was gonna say little trip, but that was a big ass trip. I've just been out for like four wait four five days thursday friday saturday sunday and then coming back monday basically five days five or at least five days four nights something like that it was wild got my honda elements some new some new shoes doing a little off-roading some camping it's pretty cool nice to be off the grid for a bit take a break uh but now i'm back and it's been literally a whole week that uh haven't worked I, well it worked yesterday i haven't filmed in a week i came yesterday for a little bit i wasn't feeling it i went back home after like four hours three four hours made like 70 80 bucks sometimes you're just not feeling it i gotta get back in that flow you know it's kind of tough to come back from it when you have so much fun and you're back you're like shit i had all that fun now i gotta go back to work what is this shit feels different when you're having fun and they, in contrast you know but now I like I gotta get back into this zone I love this shit too just uh the freedom of it's pretty good let me go let me wait let me see I got two pickups to pick up here we'll grab them real quick all right so two two uh two pickups here oh, I should have kept going down for 15 bucks i was getting a bunch of deliveries that were far it's actually pretty busy in the mornings um uh this is like i think last week the my last day i also came out early uh i really enjoyed it because you know i got to like 200 by like i don't know like wait what i got to 100 i can't remember but i was pretty ahead and it felt good knowing that it's so early and you've already got a good amount of coin in the bag so that's what i'm gonna try to do is come out early and uh make money then i got these two good deliveries for 10 bucks in south la i think i could pull this off let's do it all right let's pick them up well, I'm gonna drop one off and then pick up at Tom Tom's. Oh yeah, I know where that's at. That's where I usually pick up for UPS. I mean, drop off packages at UPS. Man, I feel like I got a lot to talk about. I don't even know where to jump to first. So on my way over here, I'm like, let me make sure this thing has gas. Cause I don't remember if I left it full with gas or not. So when I, opened it i looked oh it was like three quarters full three quarter no wait what yeah three quarters full so i'm like i need to well let me just top it off might as well right so i go filling it up and it's a little bit of gas and then it's up being like 250 two dollars and fifty cents which is i would have thought it would have been like a dollar something then i realized i looked at the gas and it was all over all of them are five dollars a gallon or up like almost six bucks i was like oh that's right you know what, uh, dude, a, a war in, 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 uh, in Russia just invaded Ukraine, I think yesterday night or, well over here is daytime, over there is nighttime, but in the morning over there, which was nighttime over here, they started bombing these guys now. I don't know, I'm not too educated on these things, but gas prices go up because, you know, um, a lot of things come to a halt and the the i mean uh the the money for a barrel has, has gone up i know i think i read a headline this morning it's like it's at 100 bucks and hasn't been like that since 2014 which i believe was the last time ukraine had like a had like some kind of uh it was two main events that has happened in ukraine it was 2014 i think it was when Russia invaded them and then again I think in 1992 or something like that 
I was trying to read up on their history to try to understand what is going on. Oh, you know what? This is on the other side. Shit. The delivery is uh, inside these fucking businesses here. I came on the wrong side. So anyway, I'm like, God damn, it was $2.50 for just like a little bit of gas. I'm like, I mean, I know it's kind of like $2.50 is not going to break the bank. But it was just, I wasn't expecting that. But that is going to be a problem now. And it's solid. Anyone using a motor vehicle will notice a, a spike in the, in the amount of money you're going to be paying for gas. And, it, and man, if I didn't have my ruckus and I was using my element, ah, oh, that, that's it, bro. I'm, this is going to bankrupt me. Because I was already, I'm paying like 25% in gas, then 30% or whatever. Then you got to put money aside for taxes. And then there's like, now it's going to go up higher. Imagine it goes up to 35% in gas. You're taking less than half the money you make home. That's terrible. All right, well, let me just find the space to deliver, guys. I'm going to jump back on it. Got that one out the way. Got one more to drop off but I got two to pick up so anyway yeah there's an all out war in Europe, Ukraine, Afghanistan like that's it no more peace in the Middle East not well the middle what is it the middle the middle northeast whatever that's it man peace be gone oh shit some uppity ass music so anyway, there's going to be a lot of consequences to that. And it's interesting. I'm going to watch it very closely. I'm going to be reading about it. Not really what I talk on this channel, but it still, it still affects us. You know, this war on the other side of the planet is affecting us. Because gas goes up. We use, some of us use motor vehicles to get around for deliveries. And we deliver all day, so it's costly. For me, I have a probably one of the vehicles that use the least amount of gas like it's i mean i'll be spending a it's a gallon for every 100 miles so it's not significant my car will be a shitload my car is i get like 20 miles a gallon and i just put these all-terrain tires on them for the for my off-road heads out there i got the falcon uh wild peaks badass tires and um but you know they're gonna take a little bit of your miles per gallon because uh, it doesn't ride as efficiently on roads i mean it still rides good but you won't get the max mileage out of them but the tires are awesome anyway so this does affect us um it does affect our lives over here so it's um i guess i guess it is related i just won't go too depth into it because also not that very educated on it. Like I said, I was kind of watching a bunch of videos of people trying to break down everything that's going on over there. And it helps. I'm like, okay, damn, it's very complicated what's going on over there. Um, but also very interesting. But like I said, I'll talk about it maybe here and there as I learn stuff. Let me know what you guys think about what's going on over there. And how it might be affecting you guys. All right, let me pick this up for Jocelyn. It's early, so yeah, I'm gonna get my handful of drinks. No biggie. Your boy got cup holders. I did the Starbucks one where you put it, um, where you, uh, cause you know how Starbucks are sealed. Fuck, dude, that shit fucking turned over. God damn it. Fucking hate Starbucks. Even though it's in there, like, the drink still tipped over, but thankfully it didn't spill. So there's two drinks in here. Oh, it's very good. This little one tipped over in there. So there's a gap in there, like, there's a gap in the middle. And with bumps, will tip over. But you know what? I'm dropping this one off next. If it, ticks, if it tips over, YOLO, I'll tell the person, hey, don't even worry. There's bigger things to worry about than a spilled coffee. Like, we could be on the east side of the planet getting bombed by Russia. All right, you just got a little coffee spilled. Boo-hoo. <laughs>
Yeah, right. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go drop off these damn coffees. Starbucks drinks, man. I never learned my lesson. I gotta find a solution for these Starbucks drinks. The other one that the other solution I had was just take the cups out of there, but that's too much work, man. Some people be having like five drinks. Imagine just taking out five drinks out of a bag. Then you give it, and then you put them back in the bag, then you give it to them, then the bags are all ripped. I feel like there's a big chance of people of uh of customers are being you're gonna run into those Karens that are just upset that the bags are open. Even though you explained to her, like, hey man, they're gonna spill in there, so I took them out to protect your drink. They'll be like, no. That is not what I asked for. Or I don't know, whatever. But yeah, it's early in the morning, so we're gonna get coffees. We're gonna get some drinks. We were trying to get a little caffeinated, get their day going, be productive members of society. Which is, uh, I guess, what I'm trying to do. Live here at the Coca Cola. I'm just uh, texting my customer that please be careful with bottom, a bit of coffee spilled all right whatever um hopefully they read that <clears throat> if not that motherfucking bag is gonna rip from the bottom coffee's gonna land on her foot she's gonna get burnt i'm gonna get sued and that's it is that for me that's for me let's go baby all right, so I'm done with the Uber Eats deliveries. Now I gotta pick up at Brecky Bagels. <clears throat> By the way, that last one was 15 bucks. Uh, and this one, these two deliveries are 10 bucks. So $25, 8.46. I started around 8.11. Hey, it's already been half an hour. Jesus, that was quick. So there's another thing that I have been uh, frustrated with that I have been frustrated since I started this business is uh, charging keeping your phones charged all day it's a big problem because electronics man no matter how good of a quality charger cable or anything you get you're gonna have to they're gonna get ruined these motherfuckers don't last too long They really don't. So one of my big bricks, I had a big power bank that was like 32,000 milliamps. That was great, but it really only could charge one of these quad lock wireless charging pads with enough power so the phone would always stay fully charged. If I connected two, two of them, they will slow, the phones will slowly drain because the power of the battery wouldn't be powerful enough for both they'll charge them for very little and since i'm not always having them the phones connected like like they're not always on the wireless pads you know i gotta obviously go through pick up food and deliver it in those moments it will slowly start draining and draining and draining by the end of the day i'll be like at 30 40 or sometimes lose complete battery like so that didn't work I will have to have one power bank for one quad lock and another power bank for another. Here's the problem. Here's the other problem. Um, I have like five power banks, like the battery ones. I have one that I have like 15,000 milliamps. I have some that are like 8,000. The problem is that with these quad lock wireless chargers is that when you connect them to a power bank, oh, sorry. When you connect them to a power bank, Ah. Um, the quad locks when you when I take my phone off um, for some reason the battery just stops charge it turns off because I, I guess it picks up that it's no longer charging anything so it just turns itself off and I have to manually open my bag where I have my batteries and hit the button so it turns on and starts charging again it's very frustrating 
Um, now I, that brick, I broke it. it. The power, the charging port broke out, so I can't charge it anymore. So it's just dead. Um, so I mean, this, that solution. I gotta find a, a solution, and for me, it's a little bit more complicated because I got two phones. So it's usually easier to charge one phone. I don't want to deal with cables anymore. That's why I got the wireless charging pad. So now I gotta figure out how do I keep two wireless charging pads charged without having to constantly turn on the power bank. So I I, I did a list. One of my boy, my boy Matt, he he told me to go to one of those car stereo installation places. Just, and I asked them if they can install one, which I did. I did. I went this morning. I pulled up to one of them, the place where I had them install my or take or uninstall my breathalyzer from my my car. <laughs> I went to that same place and I asked them, and he told me, "Yeah, just come back later when this guy is available." He said they could do something about it. So I'm gonna come back later and see if they can fix that problem. At least to have one phone charging. If I could just have one, it's cool because I can always switch the phones. I can always put one phone on the quad lock charger and then one on the other. So that might work. Although it does mess me up when I flip the phones around because what's up, man? Yeah, because when I flip, flip the phones around, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I keep thinking, you know, the iPhones, the, the, the Android and the Android's the iPhone. It's not a huge, huge thing, but it, it has messed me up in the past where I unassigned the wrong delivery because I think it's from, you know, I thought it was this side and it wasn't. And that gets messed up, but whatever. Or I cancel a delivery, but I, I thought I was supposed to cancel on the other one. So it throws you off. But anyway, we're gonna go see them later on and see if they can fix, install a, a charger that also turns off when I turn the scooter on. So that way it doesn't drain my battery. So we'll see, we'll see how it works out. But yeah, that's another, that's an issue that I've been having for a long ass time. And I haven't found the perfect solution for it. I don't trust any of these power banks online. Cause look, if I can't even trust a high quality charger by a good trusted brand, how am I gonna trust any of these China fucking batteries? That sometimes won't even work as soon as you get it, which has happened before. Or they, they lie about the milliamps. They'll be talking about 8 million milliamps. That only has like 80. So, you know, I gotta worry about that problem when I order online. So yeah, it's frustrating. I'd like to know what you guys, what your setup is. I, I might just ask, I'm gonna ask this on the Crank Coaster group and see what you guys are doing. These are one of the things that you won't worry about when you're driving inside of a car or when you have a motorcycle that already has a USB connection pre-installed, which is gonna come from one of the newer ones. Can I turn left here? Fuck it, I'll turn left over there. It's got a sign there, I don't know if I could or not. This, this rush hour morning rush hour I could turn here though but yeah what about you guys I wonder oh yeah so cars oh look so this street right here if you guys see all these all these uh, all these um, houses and buildings they're all closed down because the LAPD blew up a fucking nuke of fireworks right here. It was a story that happened back there. That was another story. But I just passed through there. You see, that, close, that, that street is technically closed, but I just went through it. They were confiscating all these fireworks, like a whole warehouse full of them that, from this house. And you know, it's dangerous to, when you take something like fireworks, explosives basically, it's very dangerous to export them to like the warehouse or wherever because in the process they could blow up and if you're driving that thing around cars people can get hurt potentially killed so what lapd had is they have like this big old um big it looks like a big bowling ball like an oversized bowling ball they'll just stuff it with fireworks and they'll just burn them up in there 
the problem that LAPD made was they stuffed it. They over. They 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 did uh, put too much. That uh, they went over the capacity limit, and that shit exploded. Like I'm talking about, like an ex like a massive explosion. I don't know if anyone died. I think people got hurt. I think maybe a couple people did did die. But it was a huge mess. And I got to deliver. Yeah, I think it's right here. Yeah, more on that in a minute. Let me just deliver this. All right, that was that was pretty dope. They were both from the same address. So I delivered one and I took a picture and then I went and then I looked at the next one and it was in the same place. So I guess they were both for the same customer. I was like, wait, what? Got a little mixed up there. Thought I delivered the wrong one. Um, but yeah. So that's it. I did these two. I got 25 bucks in a bag. Nice. So try to get some more. All right. So I got two pickups here. McDonald's. One for six. One for nine. Adding a total of what? Fifteen dollars. Where was I at? How was that? Twenty-five, I think. Twenty-five puts me at forty bucks. Sweet. Take this damn light. All right, so I'm at forty bucks. Sweet. These two are not very far. I'm gonna end up in Santa Fe and Eighth Street, which is that away. I hope it was one of those where you have a, a order already then you get like another plus this much and then you gotta just read the cross streets and the only way that's the only way you're gonna know is if you know those cross streets it was a simple one it was 8th street and santa fe so i think i know what building is going to not far that's why i accepted it and i think i'm gonna accept this farmer's boy one as well for 625 yeah boy so 46 bucks sweet this thing untied does not untied and it flew it fell out of my hands and then i reached down quickly and i caught it mid-air like a motherfucking ninja i wish you guys would have seen that i wish i would have started recording earlier Oh fuck this shit, I'm carrying This shit's gonna be around the block. Thug life. This shit already wanted to fall. All right, then I'm gonna put you on the platform then. So you could be real low to the ground. Damn food. Yeah, I caught that. You guys ever do that? Something's about to fall off the table and you sense it real quick. So then you go and, uh, and like reach for it and you actually catch it between the ground and the table mid air. And you feel like a fucking ninja. You feel like Bruce Lee for a minute. You're like, ah, I want to fuck with me. Then your roommate says something to you, are like, motherfucker, say something else. I will slap you three times in a millisecond. Wow. <laughs> I get a lot of those little moments. It's pretty cool. I am pretty quick. Mentally, I'm really, my mind is really fast, which kind of a bad thing. And a lot of things, but a good thing in many too. Wow, someone's calling me. Hello? Hello? That was quick. That was the quickest six dollars ever made. That whole process took me like four minutes. All right, now let's go deliver this last delivery with Mickey D's. Motherfucker ordered a bunch of shit. The bag is nice and chunky. Like the people that eat McDonald's, like me, I am those people. Mucking nice and round, L looking like the Michelin tire mascot. Damn it, we gotta go all around. 
go this way. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna deliver over here at uh. I thought it was Santa Fe and A Street. This shit lied to me. This is like on 12th Street. I thought I was. I thought I was gonna not be able to do this farmers boys delivery, but it was on its way. It was really quick. So someone told someone I ran into in Silver Lake told me about. He was he was telling me a little bit about his strategy. The strategy made a lot of sense. He's like, you know, because it has like it was like a month ago where we we're feeling like how it was super slow. And you know, I was used to getting big orders like 12, 13, 20 bucks for two and stuff like that, like big numbers. I'll wait for those. But I'll ignore all these small ones, like seven, eight, six. Cause it wasn't a lot. I'm like, I could just wait a little bit, maybe get something better. And um, he said he'll just accept all those. He'll just DoorDash only. And he'll just accept all those short seven, six, eight dollar deliveries. And he'll just do them really fast. And but that shit adds up. I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so I kept that in mind. And now when it's not as busy, I'll take uh, I'll take deliveries that I don't normally take. I don't go that low though. I, I'm not about to set four or five dollar delivery. Maybe a five, man. Five sometimes. If it's in the same restaurant, it's going the same way. But three, four dollars, even if it's going towards my house and I'm at it's the end of my day and I get a four dollar delivery, I still won't pick it up because it's a non tipped order. It, you know, I don't, those usually come with a lot of problems. They want you to go above and beyond. And I just don't want to feed into the whole. Motherfuckers get great top notch service with non tips for with a non tipped order because I think I do have an amazing job at getting there really quickly, getting delivering your shit hot. And you know, I got that that triple A service. And when you don't tip, I'm like, nah, I ain't trying to give you all that, I ain't trying to give you all of this for no tips, son. <laughs> anyway, so I do take those six, seven, eight dollar ones and they add up. My numbers always add up. So right now I just hunted another one for seven bucks. Tacos Gavilan going to deep the heart of DTLA. After this delivery for another seven. And I was at 46, that's what 53 bucks. See those little numbers start adding up. This is gonna be a minute though. Yeah. Goddamn 16 wheeler. It just crashed. Who hit who? Damn. Hit and run, baby. <laughs> I'm in a motorcycle. I'm just being nosy. Run the red light. <laughs> no, I did not run the red light. My light was yellow. Oh shit. <laughs> They're getting down. Let me pick this up and see what happens. Yeah, so usually what happens, they start pressing on you that it's your fault. Hi. Thank you. So they start pressing like, he did this, he did that, he did this. Usually the aggressor, but it's probably their fucking fault. Right, you hit my car. It's funny because it's coming. the The impact is coming from her front, front right, front right hand side. That old man is walking away. He's like, "Fuck this." He was with him. One guy stayed behind. It's probably his car. How is someone going to hit you from the front right hand side? That makes no sense. I feel bad for the man because...
people out of fear would just kind of admit guilt or just say that it's their fault. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here. There was a truck involved too. That truck took off. There's a cop over there. Ooh, he's about to come. Is the guy gonna come? Está bien, compa. Está bien. Si sí, no, no admites que es tu culpa, no digas sí, eso. Eh, Agarra un reporte. Tienes que tener un reporte. Un que esté testigo yo. Ajá, sí, por favor. Pero no vi, no, no, no vi, la, no vi el accidente. Pero no vi el accidente, compa. No lo vi. Okay, so both of you guys was wrong. I seen it in my eyes. That guy first ran a red light, then you come behind him and he come. And you were too close to the other guy because you would have seen her. Okay, so you try to run it too. No se agarra el reporte, man. Si no puedo hacer nada, you know? No puedo, man. I told, es que no, no estuve I told en... them let the insurance people deal with it. Yeah, I got a report and you know you ask if it's good for I come on us, man, I various courses. Let the insurance people deal with it. They the ones going they going to determine what's right and what's wrong. All right. All right, so Yeah, so yeah, he's selling he's telling me that they're trying to put it on them. Hmm. Yeah, when she was coming at him all aggressive, I've had these interactions before, man. They try to guilt trip you and, uh, <clears throat> well, whatever. So my boy, don't admit shit, get a report. Insurance will deal with it. But he's all like telling me like, let me get your number. So it can be a, what do you call that shit? A testimony or whatever? <laughs> oh man, I can't do that. I didn't see the whole thing, you know? You know what? <clears throat> I wonder if I was recording as I was pulling it up. I think I started recording after the fact. Yeah, I started recording after, I think. Because if not, I might have caught something. I might have zoomed, be able to zoom in on my camera be to see what happened. Um, so this was a thing too, when I, when I got in an accident, when the when the girl did a, the lady did a, uh, she, she basically tried to do a U-turn. And I know you've seen those people before. They go on the far right lane, so they can do a U-turn because they want a lot of space. You know, they want to be able to like not have to do a not wide enough U turn and almost hit the sidewalk, and then having to do the three turn U turn that the, we had to back up and then turn again. So she was on this right lane and she did the U turn and just smacked right into me. Like she, I was about to pass her, but she literally hit like right here on my right hand side. She hit me on my right, I was like just right straight, and she hit me right here. Like I had no time, no time to respond. I should have done a better job of trying to read the behavior of the car because the car was slowing down. I should have been like, there's no way you can make a right turn. There was no right. But you know, like I got a million things going on sometimes. And the point is that I fucking fell, ate shit. I wasn't recording at the time, but my immediate reaction, it was funny too, because once the, once that scooter landed on top of my foot, the whole ruckus landed on top of my right foot. I was already in pain and I was just like, my first, my first thought was hit the button to start recording. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Cause you know, if I ever get hit again, I'm about to die. I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the first, if I'm not already recording, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna think about. Record this shit. In case I go out, you know, I gotta do my final video. Say goodbye to everybody. And just be out. But yeah, like that was my immediate reaction. Record whatever I I could. That's what your boy does out here. Just try to document everything. 
But yeah, I feel bad for all of them, really. Accidents are pretty shitty. They're stressful. You mess your car up. You could get hurt. And then the process is just long. I'm actually gonna get a... For that accident that that lady hit me, we just barely sent out the demand like a week ago. And they have until like March, like the third week of March, they have to uh, basically meet the demand. So yeah, that lady got sued, son. Shit, about to fulfill one of the, about to fulfill the American dream. Suing somebody. Oh, it was her fault, man. She messed me up. I couldn't ride for a while. I was making like three, four hundred a day at the April Behind Bars Challenge. I was gonna keep that momentum going. I even mentioned it in one of my videos, but I had to stop. I lost a lot of money. Plus I got a little paranoid after that for a while. Anxiety, that's the word. You know, you get anxiety when you're driving now. Now you think every car's gonna turn like that and it hits you. Took some time off. But anyway, it's gonna be a... I'll let y'all know though. I'm gonna let you know what happens with that. But yeah. Crazy stuff you see, man, every day. Right here. Ooh. Just saw one earlier. Cops there. Good. There's a parking enforcement there, which. I don't know what that motherfucker's doing there. About to give him a ticket for being in the middle of the street. That'll be dirty, huh? You get in an accident, your car, you can't move it. Then the parking enforcement rolls up and writes you a ticket for being in the middle of the street. E, putting salt on the wound. Two pickups, one at Kikyo's Deli Cafe. Wait, what? Man, this thing's making me go all the way to Chinatown, but it wants me to come back to Fifth and Flower. I guess it kind of makes sense because the delivery is going to be somewhere in MacArthur Park. So I'm going to have to come back around this way. It's for the same person. So it's food and they're getting some smoothies. This smoothie spot is, uh, it's underground. It's right there on 5th and Flower. The last time I went, I parked on the opposite corner because I didn't, I didn't know where it was at. But now I know. Now I got to park on, uh, instead of on 6th and Flower, actually. That's where I got to park. I parked on 5th and Flower last time. I walked my ass out downstairs and walked all the way across. And that took way too long. So... But 6th Street is a one way this way. But Flowers are one way south, so that thing that might work. I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. Anyway, I'll, uh, I think I'm just gonna go to Chinatown first. And then just come down Flower and then pick it up. And then start heading uh, west. So 19 bucks, where was I? I was on 53. So let's add 20, subtract 1, 53, 63, 73, 70, minus 172. So I got my 72 bucks. I'm gonna hopefully try to get some deliveries going towards uh, Koreatown or MacArthur Park that I can pick up on the way south from Chinatown. That or in Chinatown, hopefully. Try to maximize this trip. Perfect delivery to add to this one. It's um, it's from the corner bakery, and this corner bakery is on Third and Grand. So on my way down, oh shit, it's kind of weird, cause Grand is a uh, one way this way. Oh no, yeah, it's perfect. I, I come here. Well, as I'm going south on Grand, I could pick up on Grand and Third, on Grand and Third, then make a right on Fifth Street. And then, and then uh, make a left on Flower, so I can go to Sixth and Flower, pick pick up the other one, and the drop off. It's like 
really close uh, I'm gonna make a ride probably on Wilshire and then drop off that delivery it's 14 bucks oh baby where was I 72 86 nice it's 10 13 hopefully I get to 100 bucks by like 11 12 or 12 by noon will be great yeah because it's gonna take me a little bit of time to drop all these off say about half an hour to 40 minutes so yeah probably like before noon i'll make those hundred uh so that war just started like i was talking about yesterday and you know i just i got sent one video like earlier i did see a few pictures because like i said it's morning for us but they already kind of went through the whole day for them the sun's kind of going down so they've gone a whole day of war already and we're waking up to this here on this side and then there's some there's already some crazy just heartbreaking video of yeah civilians just getting and well just you know them getting uh missiles shot at tanks pulling up Here's the thing, right now we're in year what, 2022? Everyone's got a smartphone. And um, a very good quality camera on it. And for a while, I mean, there will be internet. I mean, if, if, if infrastructure starts getting destroyed, they might not have access to the internet immediately, but eventually, uh, the, the content could always be uploaded what I'm trying to say is that this is gonna be a this is gonna be a very documented war there's eyes everywhere and there's cameras everywhere whenever there's a set of eyes there's probably a set of cameras and then that's just the cameras that the handheld devices people have then there's also security cameras there's dash cam cameras there's just all these there's all this um you know all these little computer eyes everywhere that's gonna document this entire war and um what shouldn't happen it shouldn't be censored even if it's graphic it should be you should warn somebody that's gonna be graphic but it should still be shown because as heartbreaking it is, as, as it is we shouldn't not watch it because then we don't know the uh, i guess the reality of what happens during war i have something stuck in my and i think if no one feels that pain you know or sees it no one would ever uh react to it that's why i think censorship sucks when it's graphic stuff like i remember this that's why there's one crazy video of a highway accident that happened and it was bad i mean people were hurt and it was really really bad and it happened because of a, a driver that was texting and driving i'm like man you when you tell people don't text and drive because it's dangerous i mean when you show them a video like that that was like super graphic and they get hit by it like i mean people got to see that or else they'll never really realize the graphic dangers of it in my opinion so it's gonna be all right i got a pretty big order here i guess the battery died on my other uh battery i swapped it out while i was waiting but uh i just yeah so i'm gonna we're gonna i'm start you guys are probably gonna start seeing videos of this freaking war and it's gonna be in, it's gonna be intense man it's gonna be some heartbreaking stuff we're gonna witness for sure and uh i mean i'm not gonna not look at it because i'm highly curious and um yeah gotta watch this stuff all right next stop i got two more pickups You guys like my little entrance though? <laughs> I came through the back, just parked right here.
<laughs> I could have parked right here too, but cars pass by. It's a little riskier. I feel like this this path is a little safer. Earlier when I was waiting at a red light, <clears throat> I jumped off the scooter and uh, adjusted my brakes a bit. Now they're nice and responsive. So your brakes do wear out after a while. Uh, and there's this little, on the left hand side of Bruckus' tires, there's this like long thin metal screw with the nut. And when you tighten that a little, it like, it pushes out the brakes inside the drum more. So it tightens this brake, so it's more sensitive. So when you press it, you don't have to, when it works, brakes wear down, you have to press it a lot for it to stop. Like you have to press it more into the handlebar. But when you adjust it, you want to make sure they respond like really fast. So I always, whenever you need to squeeze it really hard, you could and it stops. It, it really grips the, the brake and you come to a, a stop. You don't want to you don't want to pull these full strength and still keep going. That's not how your that's not how brakes work. Anyway, um, I didn't know that. I did for a long time that I had the ruckus. I didn't know that's what they were for. I feel like I should make a video on that. Left my ruckus parked in the middle of the street, <laughs> kind of. the alarm I was able to trigger the alarm yeah I left it there so I'm gonna continue going south might as well leave it near where I could just kind of back up and keep going straight corner bakery is right here so let's go snag this real quick turn off the alarm Soup still standing. Yeah, they're all standing. Let me open this pocket down here. Damn it. Gotta open this pocket for drinks. There we go. Put them in there. All right. No, I got this big old bag right here. Wait. My phone fell in there somewhere. There it is. All right. Damn, baby. Like a glove. I like when it's snuggled in there like that. Because uh, then you know that your soup's ain't going to spill. Back up and go straight. Oh, yellow lights in. Just in time. All right. Next spot is the uh, Robex Fresh Juices and Smoothies. Just gotta make a right and a left. Now be there. this place is or how close it is so that's why I parked on the opposite corner last time but this time I hope I got it right it was Robex fresh juices and smoothies there's another one that's similar but it's called something else it's on the other side this I got it mixed mixed up nope here it is Got to pick up on this side, on this side. So we uh, pick up for Jasmine. All right, good timing. Those stickers are cool. No, it's fine. I got it. Thank you. Carrot juice. 
carriages. Let's bomb. There you go. All right, let's go. Well, iPhone, Samsung comparison. Now, to be fair, there's a bigger version of the iPhone, which probably has a bigger battery capacity. But I don't know, bigger screen, more battery consumption, bigger, it might balance out. But like the iPhone, I've been using both equally since the morning. I haven't, I've been charging them both equally here and there, but I just decided to not charge them because I don't want to be pressing the buttons inside the, not in my bag. The iPhone is at 33%. The Galaxy is at 77%. So the iPhone has lost two thirds of its battery already. Whereas the Galaxy only lost one third. Bigger screen. But obviously probably a bigger battery in the phone. But yeah. You know one of the cons about this iPhone is the battery does drain pretty rapidly no good man I don't like it but I just thought I'd point that out it was interesting check out this car right here look it's my birthday buy me a drink cash app ha ah, that's fucking hilarious they probably have that shit on there every day oh wait I see this girl she's about to send some money in the car man I'm about to do that shit it's my birthday Send me a drink. Let me catch up. Is she, a, is she a cutie or what? Might have to slide her some funds. So she got a little fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh Lord, it's a guy with earrings. Never mind. I'm gonna do my first delivery in this building at the Metropolis. I've, I've gone off on these guys. Cause I've been like, what? They tell me to take my helmet off. But some guys don't. So one time they told me to take my helmet off. And I'm like, look, you know what? You, I have to take it off. I don't, I do, I don't. Like, you guys need to get your policies together. Someone here is not doing their job. I forgot what the fuck I told them, but putting them on the spot. Cause you know, like someone's fucking up because if everyone's supposed to tell me that, a lot of these guys don't. That's why for me, it's kind of like, bitch, make up your mind. You don't want me to take it out, leave it on. For me, shit, I kind of like taking off my hat once in a while, cause it feels good. It feels too good to give your head a little bit of, you know, breathing room. I'll fix this when I come back. Let me just put this away. This is, all this is going to the same customer. All right. Let's go. All right. Got that dropped off. Didn't have to uh, take my helmet off this time. Thank God. I haven't worn the helmet that long to want to take it off. All right, so these are soups, man. So I just don't want these to flip over. So I'm gonna do this. Just gonna put the border up oh shit the border's on this side I'm gonna put the border up give it some uh... there you go alright cool that should be fine so it says to deliver one at 1048 and the other one at 1058 they're 10 minutes apart, but it's the same customer. Interesting. Fucking Volkswagen's getting frustrated. Because I don't let him go around. He honked at me earlier. <laughs> he passes me, gets the red light, and I get in front of him. He passes me, get on the red light, and I get in front of him. He's on the bus lane right now. Well, we're both on the bus lane.
<laughs> it's an Uber driver. Fuck with him again. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Alright, no more fun. I gotta actually make a right. I guess my customer's gonna come down. So I'm away from here. I'm getting a little water on my records. It's all good. She needs a little shower. All right, so, had to help my customer. Uh, Cause it was like one, it was, it was three bags and a drink. I was like, man, it's gonna take her a minute to figure out how to carry everything. So she came out. I was like, all right, look, this is how you're gonna carry it. <laughs> so I kind of started putting things in her hand, how, how she should carry it without having to like, you know, drop something or rip the bag and stuff like that. So I was like stacking things. I was like hooking her, hooking the bags on her hands. Then I put the smaller bag on top and then I gave her the drink. So she's kind of has this food hooked on her little fingers and then she has their index and thumping her holding the, the shake then I, I then she was her hands are full so then I had to unlock the door for her <laughs> that was funny but uh, she was set she was ready to go I'm at 83 but no 86 I'm at 86 bucks once I get to 100 no you know what? I should wait till like 2 o'clock then try to get this charging thing situated so I could charge my phones without having to worry about having batteries if I could eliminate batteries completely that would be awesome so I don't have because sometimes I do forget to charge my batteries very rarely but it happens then the next day I'm like damn I got no juice no juice for my uh, phone I mean, I will attempt for a little bit until it dies. Is it five bucks? I went for six bucks. Next stop is McDonald's. So it's gonna be 11 bucks. Putting me at nine to seven, baby. Basically already there. All right. Let's go to McDonald's. It's my next stop. So I'm gonna listen to uh since I can't read articles, I could basically only um listen to uh, I can I can't read articles, I can listen to audiobooks while I'm working. I'm gonna listen to one podcast that's gonna talk about what's been happening thus far. Damn, you can't make a left turn here at all. But well, you can here. All right, so McDonald's is gonna be like right there where the Home Depot is at. So let's go. So this damn iPhone's already dying, but I came prepared. What I'm gonna do, and this is something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to actually connect my, the phone directly to a battery. There's a temporary thing I'm doing, but I got to do it because if not, this phone's going to die. Damn, I haven't done this since I used to ride a bike. Chip brings me back. All right, so plug it in, put this away. Should I put this? good all right so I got two pickups for 17 bucks that's um we're going to South LA kind of far deliveries but it's all good let's do them first pickup is sweet green and then the second one is like hobbit burger or something well I could get this one the frame boiler. 
this another five bucks. So twenty-three dollars. Damn, this guy's getting a ticket. So twenty-three bucks with these deliveries. Oh, that's perfect. I'm at a uh, ninety-seven. So twenty-three. That's twenty. Well, that's one hundred and twenty dollars. Sweet. I am gonna end up kind of far, unfortunately. I got three external batteries in my bag. So I'm gonna get the frame borrowed, then I gotta make my way to Fifth Street because that's where Sweet Green is. And then the second pickup is the frame. Wait, what? Oh shit, they're both the frame broiled spot. Okay, cool. So since I'm doing this place, I'm do so I'm going since I'm going here already, I might as well pick it up. Two pickups at the same location. Nice. As soon as, as soon as I step out of my ruckus, the cable got caught on my on my mirror there, and I was like, ah, oh, that's why. That was one reason why uh, I didn't like cables. Look, they get caught in things and they get in the way. Really not the best way. Dad did it for a very long time too. All right, now let's go to Sweet Green. Go, 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 go. Ah. Yeah. All the goods. Start dropping them off. I'm gonna take a listen to this uh, podcast in the meantime. Fill my brain with some information. It's intense, man. Casualties are already at 100 already and it's only been one day jesus and i think my license plate is coming off <laughs> i think i hear it i saw it with just one screw probably go home and fix that because that would be in south la drop those two bags i'm gonna take a quick break I'm gonna fix that, uh, that screw that I got. I got that screw missing on my uh, license plate. I think it's making a noise, but I'm gonna fix that right now. Eat and come back out. See you in a minute. Bam, I teleported all the way over here to Los Felix. <laughs> nah, I, I, uh, I was working for a bit, but uh, I got a few, I was listening to a few podcasts of everything that's going on in uh, war in uh, Ukraine and damn man, it was, I'm just, I'm learning, you know, it's a lot going on right now. It's only been one day, not even a full day and there's just so much dropping, so much information and and it's crazy. I'm looking at, I want to hear the opinions of all these different people I follow uh, on podcasts. So I was doing that for the last three hours. It's uh, five o'clock right now. I'm getting hungry again. I had a small breakfast at home. Well, small lunch. But it will, I'm like a hungry again. So I'm gonna go to Wendy's and grab me a salad. Ha! Did I say salad? I meant burger, son. So I'm gonna go over there and uh, and grab something i got some pretty good deliveries this one that i just dropped off was for like 18 bucks and then i was doing two before that for like i forgot i'm at one 187 so far just very really good i had a quick little hustle around usc did a few a lot a few uh, quite a few of them around there um and yeah oh when i left my house before i left my house i kind of checked my earnings and uh, I thought I was at 120, but I don't know what I missed, or maybe I got a tip and something. I really didn't check that, but I am at a one, I was at 135. So right now with this little hustle, I've made, I don't know, like, like 50 bucks, a little bit. Yeah, like a little bit over 50 bucks. So I'm just gonna go take a quick break and then and then slam that that um, go hard on that lunch uh, dinner rush. We'll probably switch gloves too because it's gonna get cold. I already put my jacket back on. 
even with just my sweater on it was cold so i had to put my jacket back on but yeah guys i'll, I'll catch you guys with you in a minute having a lot of fun listening to these uh podcasts it's gonna be juicy and then tonight i got i gotta wait someone uh rachel Maddo put drops hers every night at at around eight or nine waiting on that one too I already listened to all my people, some some of my people and their opinions on it so far. It's crazy, man. But the the uh, the, the the traffic is good. It's been consistent. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, all right. <clears throat> That's enough podcasting for a bit. Put enough information in my my head about the topic. Now I'm about to go get a, another ten dollar delivery, which is gonna put me at two oh seven, baby. Hit the two hundred dollar mark. I think uh, hitting three hundred dollars today will be cool. Hopefully, I can hit it by nine o'clock, so I can go home and chill out. So I gotta go to King Bow. Where's King? I think it's right next to Silver Lake Ramen. And that's gonna go south. Let's see what else we can get. I got these gloves that keep me warm, but uh, the thumb I only need to unlock the phone. Gotta do the fingerprint unlock, at least just with the Samsung. But uh, I'm getting used to them. So I'm actually beginning to use them and accurately you know part of the thing is i don't want to be constantly looking at my phone trying to tap something because that's less time with my eyes on the road but with uh you know with the glove is that you kind of have to struggle and find it you don't get it right the first time nope yeah so then uh you just increase the chances of getting in an accident and that's not good. Ooh, this is a good one. Nine bucks. End up in K Town. So another nine bucks at it. So one two sixteen. Sweet. Yeah, so I'm getting used to them. So that way I could, could you just tap, 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 tap without looking. Let's put these cars, man. I'm over here waiting behind cars, so I could just lane split legally. Let's go ahead and do that. King Bowl. It's a little tight right here with this truck. Oh, thank you, car. We're moving. Ooh, lane splitting, baby. All right, it's gonna be right here on the right. So as soon as they accelerate, squeeze in, and wham! My King Bowl. Nice. Right, see, we got a parking spot right in the front. Sweet. So picking up four Sammy. Hi. Oh, pick up for Sammy. Sammy. That's it. Can you use your restroom real fast? Is that open? All right, that's all good. No drink. All right, thank you. All right, sweet. White. Fried town for peace. All right, let's go get this other one. Actually, this one might be before the next pickup. Let's confirm it. Mm. Original Tommy's. No, I think Original Tommy's comes first. Yep. All right, let's go get this. Let's go to Original Tommy's. Can I go through here? Yeah. Let's take the small streets. Small streets should be fun. Instead of going all around, you know, through all the traffic. Let's take these side streets. Not the zigzag, but. Let's go. 
Yep. Just zigzag. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Look at this guy looking all shiny and shit. Motherfucker looks like the wrapper, a uh, bubblegum wrapper. The aluminum one? So my boy look like. He looks like he's about to walk into an 80s disco. He looks like the guy that sings uh, that song. I think it's a, it's a Russian artist, I think. He goes, la, 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 <laughs> He does that shit with his tongue. He like moves his tongue so fast. He does all these sounds with it. Pretty legit. Oh, look at this deep ass drop right here. Oh, snap. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, almost there. It was getting cold. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do some jumping jacks or something. Not to get in shape, but just to warm up. Cause it gets cold. It's gonna it's already cold. It's gonna get colder. So I gotta keep my body warm, move around a lot. Cause Yeah. Alright, we're almost there to come to this Taco Bell here because uh, this is where I get a lot of deliveries but today I'm actually going to Tommy's which is on the other corner the opposite corner which I gotta get on my left leg right now <laughs> alright sweet oh, we good we good back on track Fifth, sixth accident I see today. Who fucked up? Who fucked up? Who fucked up? Man, judging by how everybody drives, everyone fucked up. I think, I think you getting you having a driver's license is admitting you're guilty. That's how bad LA drivers are. I'm one of them. Got my license taken away for I don't know how many years. And uh, California can't even be mad at you. You did the right thing, you did the right thing. Cause I don't know what my crazy ass would have done. All right, is this it? This is it. It's called Don. Drop off this food. Shit, let me pause this video. So I just got a delivery. But I don't know, it's 12 bucks, which is pretty awesome. But it's headed towards um it's headed to an area that is not so busy. I don't know, that's a very good idea. This one here is for 14 bucks. Oh by the way, it's only $12 the delivery. This one's 14 bucks. And it's heading, it's heading towards downtown. I think this one's a lot smarter. That one, at least I know, this one's a little further, but at least I know it's headed towards somewhere that's busy. I can pick up more delivery. So I'm gonna cancel this other one that was literally headed the opposite way. And I fucking bet that I'm gonna get one with Uber Eats that's going towards downtown. So I got one for 14, I was at what, 107? No, two. No wait. Shit. I fucked around and forgot. Ah oh, man, I think it was like a 215 or something. Cause I had got one and I got another. The first one put me over 200 and the second one gave me a boost. I'm just gonna say 215, I'm gonna round it off. Y'all were watching, so you guys probably remember. I don't. Earlier I was wrong too. I was I was short by like 15 bucks for some reason. 
Um, but I mean, it's always good to be wrong and have more money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you think you only got $20 in your wallet? So you're like, yeah, 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 all right, cool. And then you uh, check and it has $200. You're like, fuck yeah. You feel like a little leprechaun that just found a pot of gold. Ooh, what I tell you? $16. BD, BCD tofu. 16 bucks. Going to downtown. Fuck yes. All right, so. 215 16 plus 14 that's 30 30 plus 215 that's 245 two, two, three, four. yep 245 baby damn hit that hundred real quick all right let's go first let's go to the hungary Kalguku, kalguksu i'm gonna go hit up that place first then we'll go to the BCD Tofu house. So you got to make these calls. Like me canceling that order. I turned a $12 order that was potentially going to drop me in a dead zone. To making $30 and being dropped off in a hot zone. That's skills right there, my my, my people. And you know, you also got to know your, know your area. Know where... Uh, these deliveries are gonna end up at know if it's busy and that you get through experience can't nobody teach you that unless you know someone that works in the area in your area they'll give you a few tips but honestly to be able to kind of for me to be able to sit down somebody that doesn't know the area and teach them everything i know that's gonna take up a lot of time and people probably won't remember it because I feel like those are those those are one of the things that you gotta experience. You gotta remember these buildings, the trees, the way the ground is, the name of the streets, you know, like the behavior of the traffic, the restaurants in the area. There's so many things to remember. I can't teach you all that, son. It would be kind of nice. I wish I could just watch a video that would tell me everything about one city or one area. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm end up in downtown at 2.45, babe. Got a, a pickup request for another 10 bucks. And it's a little further, the pickup is a little further east, which is opposite of where I'm headed. But it's a pickup. So, fuck it, I'm gonna risk it. Uh, I'm going a little west, I mean east for this pickup on Uber Eats anyway. So I think the other one's not that far off. So, yeah, I'm risking it, but I think I'll be good with timing. And where the hell is this restaurant? I think it's gonna be in this plaza right here. Yeah, it is. Hangari Kalguksu. I remember now. Alright, so we'll pick up here. Then we'll pick up these two Verit's ones. Now, y'all already know, man. Little pro tip. I'm not gonna confirm this. I'm gonna pick up this DoorDash one. I'm gonna arrive at store. And I'm gonna pick up this food. I'm not gonna confirm pickup because the timer starts. The moment you hit confirm. Wow, this motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Doing a U turn. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up the food and as soon as I start heading this way, as soon as I got the two burrito pickups, I'm gonna start heading towards. Uh, once I start heading basically towards my, my uh, downtown LA I'm gonna confirm the pickup because that's when the timer starts remember that and you only get a 10 minute window to be until you're marked late <sighs> just delay the confirmed pickup for as long as possible until you're like ready to like head I usually I confirm it when I'm gonna head straight to that delivery or, or on the way because uh, I still have that 10 minute window and I'm usually good. Sometimes I do miscalculate it and I get a contract violation, but it's so rare now, it's super rare. All right, it's gonna be for my boy Wu. Picking up food for him. So man. Thanks. This food ain't even ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the other two Verit's delivery. 
and then come back to this one now look um there's a few reasons why i learned about the whole confirmed pickup thing for one i, I read uh I read, like when I was, like I think it was in September, I was getting a bunch of contact violations for being late. And I was like, man, what the f is going on? So I read their uh, terms and conditions. Because, you know, apparently we're all supposed to read that. I did, I read it. And then that's when they said, like, so the way it works, you're not basically that they said it doesn't if the restaurant delays the food you won't get marked as late and what's the other one and if you have more if they double if they stack you if you got two orders then they under they kind of uh understand that you might take a little longer but where they made it specific is like the timer works basically from the restaurant to the location if on that area you're late over 10 like look and then the 10 minutes they didn't mention it i've just never gotten a contract violation that says i was nine minutes late Every, the lowest one has been 10 minutes so i think that's the that's i think that's the sweet spot where they're like you're late so i started saying uh-huh so i was like all right well i'm i i i got i like for example this door i picked up this door dash one right here's an example but i got another pickup like like across the street so look, I'm gonna wait till I have both deliveries and then confirm the pickup on both apps because that is literally when I'm gonna be on my way. Like, you know, I'm not gonna be on my way until I, I get both foods, you know? And who knows how long the other restaurant's gonna take. So, I mean, usually when I'm in the GPS, the, I'm, in, I'm in the area of the restaurant and DoorDash kind of if you're near it it's like no big deal customer looks like whatever like you're there they don't know you're like you're in the other little restaurants so then well, ever since I started doing that I just haven't been getting many contract violations I rarely rarely get them like I said it's because I either miscalculated or actually did take long for whatever reason maybe a delivery in between the other one that took longer than, than usual stuff like that but so yeah, just just confirm pickup when you're ready to head to the to the pickup. I mean to the drop-off location. So look, I'm doing one of the pickups right here. It's it's at the BCD Tofu House. Right, let's go get it. I tried to use the restroom at the other place, but it was busy. I tried to use it in this one. Yeah, it's packed. A lot of people going out nowadays. Oh, pickup for Joe. Yeah. Joy, Joy, yeah. Joy L. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's see where the next pickup at. Thought I paused it. All right. Oh, damn. Yeah, this next pickup is way too far. It's uh, literally three miles from here. Yeah, it's too much. So I'm going to cancel this. Where was I at? A, a, a 2.40 some shit? 2.40? 2.40? Oh, where was I? Oh, I had a... Yeah, I was 2.15 and I got 30. Then I got another 10, but no. So yeah, I'm gonna stay at 2.45. This one I'm canceling because it's just way too far. Is there an exit to here? Yeah. So I'm gonna put, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do delivery, cancel, yes. All right. So now, ah, shit. Now I gotta go. Uh, so now this one, I already know where I gotta go. But let me just go pick up this DoorDash one. So yeah, six minutes, way too long. I mean, six miles, way too long. That's literally the, like it's gonna take 3.6 miles to get to downtown LA. 
So the other pickup was going to downtown, almost to downtown and coming back. Too much time for 10 bucks? Nope. Ah, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta take my thumb out, unlock it. All right. Let's go get this DoorDash one. All right, I'm back. I'm back here to do this pickup. Oh, I'm back. It's been like five minutes, so it should be ready. Damn, look at all these cars. Uh, so th this lot here gets hugged. Makes sense. All these restaurants are are almost full. I don't know why I got air in my eye or something. I feel, I feel my eye watery from one of my eyes. I think because I put I put hot sauce in there earlier. Should I wait here? Okay, let's go in there. Who are? Who are? Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. Those two. Yeah, these three right here. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, man. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. Especially right now during traffic. All right. <clears throat> so we good. She's ready. Pretty big ass order. All right. Let's organize this in here correctly. So let's put this one on this side. Put this one on this side. I'm actually gonna need more space. So let's put the uh, let's put this down. Put this here. Alright, let's see how can I do this. Put my phones away. Hmm. I shouldn't stack it. I know, let's leave that one like this. Those are just drinks. Alright, sweet. Oh, hey, perfect. Nice. Everything's secure. Alright, let's go. It's gonna be a long ride. Damn, I got like, I got like five deliveries, but they're all really good ones. One of them is for like 19 bucks and it's going like 18 bucks. And it's going all the way to like south of Glendale. That's the furthest one. Then I got, I got two Jack in the Box, one Lala Grills, two Dunes. Yeah, so two Jack in the Box, two Dunes and one Lala Grills. And... Yeah, they're trying to hit me with another one. Too bad I don't know where that one is. So I'm not going to accept it because I have no idea where it's going. It could be way off of the the, the one that's going to... Uh... Well, anyway, look. So it's uh, it was 22 for the first set. Then I got an additional 18, which is 40. Then I got another one for like 9 bucks. So that's 49 bucks for deliveries. I'm at uh, 245. No, I'm at 192. No, 245. Now I'm at 294. 294. When I finish this, but this is gonna take like an hour, so I'm gonna have to like prep my bag and all that because this baby's gonna get packed in my extra bag. But I'm. A, I think Jack in the Box are most likely gonna have drinks. Let's see. Yep, large high C. And then a large coat, Diet Coke. So I'm going to put the Jack in the Box deliveries in here. Because they're going to come with those drinks. And they're big ass drinks too. So sweet. What? This guy changes his address on him. Better not be no crazy, no crazy stuff. Let me check what the address it is. No, it's not bad. It's, it's still here in downtown LA. Could be the apartment number. Sometimes they do that. Deliveries in the bag. Let's go get these other ones. These actually are gonna fit. 
in here. And I got one more at Lala's Girl. So I got four items in here, four customers, food. This size. So it's flat. This one here. All right, let's go see what we're working with with this Lala Girl one. I actually should do one of the deliveries because it's on. It's on this building right here, to the right. Nine, nah, yeah, it's this Broadway Palace. So I'm gonna deliver that one. Gotta check which one it is. But I'll do it real quick. It's this building here. Just park on the sidewalk, cause. Got it. At least I got one delivery out the way. Now I just got four left. Two of them are here downtown. Uh, one's on Spring and the other one's on Hill. And then after that, one's in Silver Lake and one's in uh, Glenda. Glendale somewhere. So let's do this, baby. All right, I'm gonna pick up Lala's Grill though, real quick. It's right here on the right. So Lala Grill. Let's go get it. Where are you at, Lala? Lala's Grill's here in the corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I think I could get away with parking right here for like a minute. Let's go. Quick, baby. Picking up for Camila. This person. Oh, it's a drink. All right. Thank you. Hey. Hey, man. All right, so I got a drink with this one. No problem. I just dropped off one with a drink. So that gives me space in my backpack for a drink. So just put the drink in here. Kind of a tight squeeze in there. Gotta make sure the lid didn't pop. It's good. All right, perfect. So now I got all my all my packages. Let's go do. So what should I do first? I'm gonna do the one on. This one's on spring, and then this one is on. Got it. All right, so you saw the drop off number two was a success. This building so it's kind of dimmed, low lighting, kind of spooky, but pretty dope. So now I gotta drop off on a hill street, then Silver Lake, then I don't know where. It's gonna be a nice ride, so I'm gonna let my phones juice up and listen to a podcast. Baby, take a picture of this. Now I just got two deliveries left. This looks sick. Oh, my lens is dirty. That's why it looks kind of blurry. Kind of looks kind of. Totally looks so cool. Oh, you're welcome. Sick. Let's do one more. Try to line it up. Oh, that looks sick. All right. I'm getting kind of warm because I'm hustling. It's a good thing. So right now when I go up to Glendale, it's going to get... 
it's gonna it's definitely gonna get um warm all right silver lake and then south of glendon let's go the fire oh shit someone he started a, a fire and then he tried to put a little bottle but you start to leave a bottle like this so oh okay he got the bottle because it's yeah. gonna be big you know uh, let, let me check i don't have water it says someone's trying to start a fire here yeah I don't think this will light up. Huh? I don't think it will light up because all this is green. No, but I tried to prevent. I didn't have any more water. Just a little bit of water. I have it. I put it on there. All right. It's not because it was a big flame. It was a big one. Yeah. Damn! Someone's trying to burn this down. They left that bag there. Did they run away? No, we don't see nobody. Oh. He just coming like like you. Yeah. You see the flame like that. Yeah, I see the flame. I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna do a delivery and I'm gonna come right back. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah. Well, hablo español también. Voy a hacer un, voy a hacer una delivery aquí. Nosotros nos preocupamos porque imagínense que se haga grande el fuego. Okay. Yo creo que va a estar bien. De todos modos, voy a pasar otra vez. Y yeah, que todo está verde, eso no, no se ve, no, no creo que se pero, prenda. Ya, yeah, pero, pero si, como si está yeah, bien. si estuviera seco, eh, todo esto rápido. Pero como sí, está un poco verde, está como mojado, va a ser más difícil. No, 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 eso no lo puede jalar. Si lo abres, yeah, no. Bueno, ahorita voy a pasar otra vez. Es que tengo que hacer esta delivery Gracias, y voy llamar. a ver. Y si, si está más así, voy a llamar a, la, a los bomberos. No, right. De nada, buenas noches. No, no, está bien, está bien. Qué bueno que vieron eso. Está bien. Hasta luego. So, uh, Oh, this old couple, they saw a big fire there. So someone's trying to light a big uh, a big flame. And he put it out with a water bottle, that's what he was telling me. And he's just concerned. He's like, I should call the fire department. I'm gonna do his delivery, and I'm gonna come back and see what it looks like. I was telling him, I don't think it will light up. It's all, you know, green, green grass is still alive. I think it'd be a big risk if it was, you know, but was, if all that was dried up, then yeah, it'd be kind of a cause for concern. But either way, I'm gonna drop off this delivery and uh, I'm gonna come right back and, and check on it. <laughs> I'm gonna probably catch someone in the act trying to light it back up. Imagine I run into an arsonist. Jesus. People are crazy out here, yo. Uh, bro, I'll go back. Let me do this delivery. I'm, I'm already here. Be right back. All right, so bought a water bottle, one gallon. Just feel like uh, I'm going to be a firefighter real quick. Oh, what? There's a fire? All right, cool. I'm on my way. Put my slide slide down the pole. You know what I'm saying? Only fans. And then uh, I'm going to go check on this fire. Got the sirens on. turn all right pop out with google maps baby what are the couples still there all right oh shit all right it's one of these streets coming up ooh, 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 ooh. she just take this red light Everyone's supposed to stop. Hey! I'm trying to take this fire out. Alright, I'm almost there. And this is in this little cut. I know where I'm at now. This is uh, close to Eagle Rock. Is it Eagle Rock? I think so. 
Alright, so let's pull up. Already did the delivery. Let's see, if they're still there. Like, there's a homeless. There's some encampments here. It's most likely a homeless person. Let's see if I catch anybody. Fucking ruck is struggling. Smells good around here. Look, it's still lit. Fuck, I just put this whole thing in there. That shit is on. The fuck, look, look at this. Straight campfire. Right, let's take it out. Oh shit. Oh, this shit was really on. Look, see the smoke coming out? Alright, let's go. Dude, put a fire out, son. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. If I fuck around, get blamed for it. Look, there was a fire, there was a fire hydrant right there. Go. Mission accomplished, baby. Let's go back to uh let's go back to downtown LA. Man, I basically hit my goal already. I'm at 297. I just got a few more dollars to left, but probably just do deliveries on the way back home. See how many I can make. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go towards Silver Lake. Dash along the way make some bread I feel good though I'm wide awake I'm not even tired but whatever let's try to make some money on the way back home how the hell do I get back I'm just following backtracking but... so I went through this whole area like all, all the way from uh, Eagle Rock area and I got some deliveries, but I mean, I got some requests, but they were all really far. They were good paying. They were like $17, $18 deliveries for one. But they were like all in the in Hollywood Hills. We was going all the way to Lincoln Heights. And I'm like, I'm already tired. I'm just going to see if I can fish anything out here in downtown LA on my way home. And not that's it. I feel like today was a good day. Last time I checked, I already had like 90 miles. That was all the way over there when I was putting out that fire. Pretty sure I'm gonna hit 100 plus by the time I get home. So it's gonna be crazy. So let's go. I'll see if I get anything. We're about to have a problem right here, look. Oh shit, there's a guy in front of him. Oh, no, she's fucking up her bumper. They're fucking up her wheel. <laughs> she got pumped. Oh, she's mad. Dude, you see all kinds of like people getting, getting like going at it. Like, I was waiting at the red light. And uh, the car behind it, the other car honked. So the other, car, the other car was gonna leave, but the other car got in front of it, trying to block it in. And they were like window to window, I guess they were talking shit. And then she backed up and then ran, in, ran her tire into the sidewalk. A hit hard enough could pinch your tire and you'll have a flat. Then you'll look dumb for talking shit and then not knowing how to drive your shit backing up into the curb at least if you're gonna talk shit you gotta pull out like a g and not the fuck up that was funny i thought i was gonna catch something I thought something was about to happen me too man for being nosy my ass is gonna get hit one day get caught in the crossfire all right 
trying to get anything good on the way home oh, we're on the way so I'm just gonna go straight home pretty solid day came out like at what pretty early in the morning came home took like an hour or over an hour break that felt good then I, then I went to go get some more food a few hours later took like another 20 minute break not sure how much I've worked but here it says that I've been uh, it's in uh, moving time 12, 12 hours and 51 minutes so 13 hours made about 300 so it's not great it's not bad I'm good with taking home 300 I got 97 miles that I've ridden covered some good uh, covered some good area That last stack was pretty amazing. Almost 50 bucks. Pretty awesome. Put out a fire too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. Gonna come out tomorrow. Tomorrow's, oh, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. Gonna go hard tomorrow. I didn't get to go to the, uh, you know, the auto, the car, what do you call that shit? The car, the, where they install the, the stereos. I thought about it. I want to go, but I didn't even get any prices. I don't want them to be like 80 bucks. Cause if it's say $80, I might as well just figure it out on my own and do it. Go take a YouTube university class solve that problem but other than that uh thanks for riding with me appreciate it nice to have some company and uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the on the next video friday hustle post one up tomorrow all right later man peace